Hey golfers, in this next video, I'll be talking about pros versus amateurs, golf swing, hip rotation. Keep watching. Hey, it's Troy from hittingitsolid.com here. Thanks for watching. So we're talking about pros versus amateurs, golf swing, hip rotation. Now, just before we get stuck into the content, if you're new here, make sure you like this video. And if you wanna play better golf, consider subscribing to the channel. So the golf swing, hip rotation, pros versus amateurs, there is a big difference here. And if you're not doing what the pros are doing when it comes to the hips, you'll be struggling to hit the golf ball solid. But the good news is by the end of this video, you'll be able to move your hips, rotate them just like a pro and play much better golf. So it all starts with the setup when it comes to rotating the hips. Now, if you're not set up correctly, you won't be able to move those hips the way you should. So typically what most amateurs do, and I've been guilty of this myself at setup, now, this is the same for an iron or a driver. The hips, you can see that, that line I've got right behind my, my butt there. The hips will be too far behind my heels. I have too much weight sitting back. Now, what happens when you do that in the, in the backswing, your body will counterbalance and stop you falling over. So typically, it'll look like this. There'll be a move forward to stop you from, because if I pushed everything back, I'd fall over. So if you've got too much weight back here, the counterbalance is just to push forward. So as soon as you make your back swing, straight away you come off that tush line and you're gonna suffer from early extension. You won't be able to rotate those hips as you'd like. So the pro way of doing it at your setup is to get more of a knee bend in those hips and really feel like they're more stacked over the lead part of your, your feet here. So we've got a lot more pressure in the lead part of the hip. When you do that, it just makes it easier to make a nice good turn. And it doesn't, you don't need any counterbalancing to hold your posture. But by getting those knees a little bit more bent and a little bit more stacked over those ankle joints, you'll be in a really pro-like position to start getting that rotation of the hips that you're after. Now, if you have a look at this video of Adam Scott, or this image, I should say, you'll see how he's positioned that setup. Got those knees nicely bent, and you can see he's nicely stacked over those ankles in a great position to get that, that hip rotation. Okay, now the next part on the backswing is really important. Make sure you watch this. Now the backswing when it comes to that golf swing hip rotation. So, big difference with the amateurs. Typically, they don't get, and you might be guilty of this, enough hip rotation in the backswing. Now, just quickly, it's important that you go through each part of this video and don't skip any of it. All of these parts of hip rotation go hand in hand, so they won't work unless you're doing all of the pieces. So typically in an amateur when it comes to the rotation of the backswing, these hips will just not rotate enough and it might look something like this. The hands will just get pushed up into the air. These hips have not rotated much at all. Now, a great little checkpoint, and I'll show you this what the pros do, they get their hips to rotate somewhere like 45 degrees. If you don't have a lot of flexibility. You can always flare that trail foot out like that. You can always flare this trail foot out a little bit more like that. And you can also slightly lift the heel of your, your lead foot up like that to help you get that bit more rotation. Now with most amateurs also that inhibits their ability to get that rotation, they'll do too much lateral slide this way. When you're sliding, it's difficult to rotate. The pros, on the other hand, they're really rotating and pushing that rear hip back. So they'll look something like this. I'll get a lot more rotation. They're pushing that rear hip back. I'll show you from this angle here because there's another key, a bit of a checkpoint to show you exactly what they do. So as they're rotating back, now you'll see here, 
with the rotation I've done, I've really pushed that rear hip back. But you can see there's a bit of a space in between my legs. That shows that I've gotten a much bigger hip rotation. Now with the, with the amateur swing, you can see there from this angle down towards the camera, you won't be able to see much of a gap in between those legs at all. But with the pros, very much so, You can see there's a bit of a gap there in the legs. Shows I've made a great hip rotation and in great shape for the rest of the golf swing. Now the next part, the downswing, super important. This is where most golfers get this wrong. Make sure you watch this. So in the downswing, this is again where things get very different between the pros and the amateurs. So typically with the amateurs, with their downswing hip rotation, and this starts right at the top. So if I get the top of the backswing, most amateurs, they don't start any sort of downswing move as far as rotation is concerned until they get here. So they just stop here, then they make their move. Now with the pros, very different. I'm going to show you a video of Adam Scott from behind in just a moment that really illustrates this really well. So make sure you watch that as he gets to the top like this, before he's even finished his back swing, when he gets to about here, he starts laterally shifting a little bit towards the target, which gets his downswing off to a nice little head start, and then he'll rotate. And he'll be really rotating those hips and pushing that left butt cheek back. So he'll start like this, left shoulder will be lower, the start of the downswing, and he'll really push that left butt cheek back and rotate into impact. Now the pros will get their hips open anywhere from 35 to 45 degrees of impact. Most amateurs, only as much as 20, 25 degrees. And what that will do is, the less you have your hips open at impact, if you have them only slightly open like this, really brings a lot of the hands and the arms and timing into it. Flipping action, a lot less club face control. But if you're able to get get a head start on that downswing with that hip rotation, that little bit of lateral shift, gets you a lot more club face control. So from this angle, this is an amateur. So not much hip rotation through to impact. And you can see from here, it really, there's not much power or control there. A lot of hands and arms needed to fly through to the ball. Whereas the pro, after they've got that nice deep backswing turn, that downswing will start before the backswing finishes. Then they'll start rotating, pushing that left hip back. So they stay in their posture, rotating through, getting through to impact, hips getting nice and open. They're able to get that forward shaft lean with irons and get into that great position here. So what they are doing is they're moving that right butt cheek back is rotating in the backswing. The left one is pushing back, rotating in the downswing. So they have a little bit of lateral shift in the backswing, just a little bit, and a little bit more lateral shift as they're rotating in the downswing. Now, if you have a look at this video of Adam Scott at the moment, this is from behind. You can see here, before he's actually finished his backswing at the top, he starts getting a little shift down towards the target. That lead shoulder gets slightly lower and then he'll start rotating through to impact. That's a great pro way of making that downswing and a big difference between pros and amateurs. Now this next video I've got coming up is really important you watch that, it's coming up. I forgot to just quickly mention with amateurs in that downswing, typically they get too much slide with their lower body and they don't move their upper body at all. And what that does, it inhibits their ability, and you might be guilty of this in that downswing, too much lateral slide with the hips alone really inhibits your ability to rotate. And then that just brings in the hands and arms to flip. Now that difference with the pros, when they shift laterally, they move their lower and upper body at the same time, then they're able to rotate. 
very significant difference there to help you play much better golf. Now, really important, as I mentioned, this video coming up talks about weight shift versus hip turn. This will help you play fantastic golf. It's coming up, I'll see you on it. Do you wanna know how to play in better golf? Click and watch the video on your screen now. It's gonna go into more detail about golf weight shift versus hip turn, which ties in really well with this video to help you make a great golf swing. Do you wanna know how to play even better golf? Consider subscribing to the channel. And remember, if you have any questions or comments, please let me know, I will get back to you. Thanks for watching, see you next time.